On Thursday, Ukraine's parliament passed a bill to overhaul how the armed forces draft civilians into the ranks. The move came after a general told the chamber that Russian forces outnumbered Kyiv's troops up to 10 times on the battlefield in the east. Now, overnight Russian attacks destroyed a large electricity plant near Kyiv and hit power facilities in several regions of Ukraine. Vladimir Putin said Russia had been obliged to launch strikes that have inflicted heavy damage on Ukrainian energy sites in response to Kyiv's attacks. The president said the strikes were part of the process of demilitarization of Ukraine. One of the objectives he cited when sent Russian troops into Ukraine in February of 2022. Russia, he said, had refrained from carrying out such attacks in winter out of humanitarian considerations. During a meeting with the Belarusian president Alexander Lukashenko in Moscow, Putin said that Russia has not been invited to a Ukraine peace summit scheduled for June in Switzerland. The Swiss government will host a two-day high-level conference in June aimed at achieving peace in Ukraine. The Russian president said, and I'm quoting him here, since we are not going there, this is already a complete circus. Two years into a war against Russia, a country with three times its population, Ukraine has been suffering setbacks on the battlefield. Tens of thousands of Ukrainian soldiers have been killed. Many times more have been wounded. And hundreds of thousands have now fought for two years with no respite. Martial law lets draft officers call up men over 27 to fight. A separate measure signed into law last week by Zelensky made thousands more men susceptible by lowering that minimum age to 25. But during the war, there have been thousands of cases of draft dodging and in-practice commanders have said they are not receiving enough troops. New steps should up troop numbers by requiring men to update draft data with authorities, boosting payments to those who volunteer and letting convicts serve. It adds some new punishments for draft dodging, but stops short of severe measures that had prompted public opposition. United States will send Ukraine up to $138 million worth of equipment to maintain and upgrade its Hawk air defense systems to help defend against drone and missile attacks. The U.S. began shipping Hawk interceptor missiles to Ukraine in 2022 as an upgrade to the shoulder-launched Stinger air defense missile systems. Since then, Ukraine has received several air defense systems, including the U.S.-made Patriot system. For all the latest news, download the Weon app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.